Hello, my name is Kainson Mononye, the application developer, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to create a portal in Dreamweaver using MySQL and PHP. So just try to follow along the, the, the tutorial and uh, I'm sure you are going to find it very, very informative. I'm, trying to, I'm going to try to be as simple as possible so that with your computer and with the, the, the necessary applications, you'll be able to, to build your own portal just in Dreamweaver, MySQL and PHP. Well, what do you need for you to start building this portal? Um, I would like to lay out the requirements in Notepad so that uh, you have it in mind. Okay, no, let's use Word. So, for this application that you are going to build, you'll need first uh, one Dream Weaver. My SQL software, my SQL server installed. PHP, of course, you have to config configure PHP and MySQL, uh, and also configure your Win uh, Windows 7. You configure IIS in Windows 7. IIS stands for Internet Information Services. It's a component that you need to install or configure in Windows. So with these four item setup you are ready to go so for now i'm not uh, going to take you through how to install this application or how to make the configuration because sometimes i i i've uh, i know some have issues some some have issues trying to configure php to work on their windows maybe in another video i'm going to take you through how to do that but for now we are going to focus on how to to create a, a, a complete portal in, in in Dreamweaver. So, first of all, I would like to show you the data we are going to work with because I've added a, little, a few data in, in my SQL server. So this data in the server, uh, a, a records already existing in the server is what we are going to use to build uh, as, as test data and then we're also going to be able to insert more records or even delete records. Sorry. So, um, show databases, use, uh, demo db demo db that is a tight database it is a database that contains our data and show tables i should have just one table and that is students that's the name of the table so if i do a select statement select star from students or have this data so this data is what we are going to work with what you are seeing now is the data in my sql uh, server so we are going to display this data on a web page okay let's get started before we start i would like to just show you uh, what we expected to do or the outcome of of, of this uh, tutorial how it's going to work and then we start from the scratch to build it so now i've created this as a, a simple home page so um Let's preview our site. Okay, so this is our homepage. Uh, how to create a portal in Dreamweaver by Kainton Mononye. That is my name. This is home, of course, that is the index page. This is the list of students. And now we'll be able to add, we will also be able to delete. So to delete a record, you, you search for a record by entering the, the range number or part of the range number. For instance, we have DE2009 is the range number. So uh, to delete that record, DE2009, maybe we just type DE2009. 
2000 and it searches out that particular record having that range number we typed in and we go to delete it takes us straight to the confirmation page are you sure you want to delete this record submit yes and of course the record is deleted so let's go ahead to add a new record yes colleague the e uh nine 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 okay that is five lines the first name okay let's uh, use a, a, a name like uh, uh it's called elites that's my mom and the other name is this Yahoo uh, at yahoo.com and the department is a uh, sec let's just say sec admin insert and let's see uh, too long for column in email row I don't know much, I don't know why this error should be here but if I insert it goes so there is this record <clears throat> I've started here so to delete a record of course you search out the record and delete and this is the list and this is the home so this is the basic way a portal uh, operates or a, a portal uh, is created and when it comes to other things like a uh, user login I'll take you through that one later in another demo but this is just a basic way you have a list you also have a search, you're able to search and have a result page and then you're able to delete particular records. That's all. That is all you need to, to do in creating a portal. Gradually, gradually, I may be able to do a more complex one, a more professional one. But for now, try to understand the basics of how a portal works. And that is the basics of data manipulation in in a... Um, in database uh, systems and web applications so let's go ahead to start a new website along the line in this tutorial I'll also teach you how to I I'll teach you you one how to create a websites or how to define a website in, in Dreamweaver also how to use CSS style sheets okay also teach you how to connect to my SQL uh, database okay so these three I'm going to teach you so let's start off with the first one I'm going to start by creating a brand new site and that is the site we are going to work with so I go to manage sites and I go to new sites and let's call it uh, uh, portal sites I already have a site uh, in my folder called portal so let me just call this portal site and I'm going to create a folder a local folder because you must have a local folder for your site I call it portal sites okay and that is good so the next thing i'm going to do is to add the the server that is a remote server the a remote server and the testing server that is where the the site will be uploaded for testing so i've configured my laptop as a server and so the server will be 
I add new server and then the parameters for the server. So you need to name your server. I call it uh, portal serve. Okay, let's call it portal serve. I'm connecting to my server or Dreamweaver is connecting to the server using local slash network and that is the local network. The server folder must be the, the, the folder on the on the server. And that is it must be in the testing location and that is in your drive C INET pop www root. If it's not inside this place, it is likely not going to work. So make sure that it's, the folder has to be created inside this www root. And then uh, take note that this uh, folder here it appears only when you have configured IIS in your Windows. That is the only time you'll see this INET pop. So I create a new folder, I call it uh, Otter Remote. Okay, open. Uh, select, okay, that's fine. So uh, how the web URL, the local host, slash portal remote. Okay, uh, I save. It's going to be my remote uh, server and it's going to be my testing server as well. So I save and resolve. So I close up all these forms. Okay, now I've got no page in my site, and so I start by creating my first page, a PHP page, and I'm going to save it as uh, index.php. If I don't add the extension, it also, uh, by default, it adds the extension to it. So, save. So, this is my index page. Now I want to add a CSS page, and that is the page I'll use to style my my uh, my my pages. The content of the pages I'm going to use a CSS sheet to style it. So I add new uh, CSS style sheet. Okay, and I save it as I'll call it styles. CSS. Okay, we've gone this far, and so we want to work on the index page. We want to work on the on the index page. So, um, I'd like to add a table. Okay, yes, I'd like to insert a table because I'm going to be using a table-based layout for this demo. So I like it to be three rows and one column. Why? Because I want the, the first row to be the header, the second row to be the, the content, and the last row to be the footer. So we have three rows. Uh, do I need a border? I don't think so. And that's just fine. Three rows. Um, think we are okay. Okay. Uh, how about making the width 800? 800. And that's just fine. And I like to centralize this by aligning it to the center. And that's just fine. I have not got a height. How about just dragging down? And that's just fine. So I want to create a style for this uh, table. So what I'm just going to do is to say, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, I would just say, um, actually should create a new, a new style. So, okay, let's just say dot table or oh, let me say the tbl okay wings uh 900 px <coughs> height um 
700 px okay uh, color no background background color here uh, the color picker here and I want the background color just to be white that's fine okay so I want to close so I have a style a TBL so for me to apply this style to this page I'll either just drag it and drop it sorry not that I'll just say from the class I'll just say attach a style sheet and there I select the style sheet and that's just fine so okay so if I select the table and choose the style it's, it's applies to me so you can see say I like to change the background of this page to some color background color for the page I like to use this okay all right so we are progressing so um this is my navigation so i'll have home uh insert list of students uh as a new Student, delete a student. Okay, for now I'm going to create a style to apply to this. So let me call it dot name. That is the style I'm going to apply to it. Dot name. Uh, and uh, I have reads. Reads. Uh, we uh, how about uh, uh, 200 px height um, uh, 35 px okay that is the okay display block and floats float lives for now don't bother about all of this but when i apply it then you see how it works you come to appreciate it i'll also like to to have the color the background color to be something uh, lights like this okay okay so now I click on home and then I set it to name so as you can see it works but now I want to centralize this in the middle of the 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 the, the the tag I want to centralize it so I come here I would like to add text align align um, vertical align to the center okay okay say text Okay, I, I want to get the intelligence text align center and that's just fine. Um or I don't know if I can get horizontal align, it's not there. Align uh, okay um Vertical align. I don't know, but let's uh, middle. Okay, middle. That's fine. Okay, so if we go back to check, hopefully it's aligned to the middle. But 
Uh, I don't know why we are not getting this, but let me just say font family so it looks a bit good. Font family. I want to use a trebuchet. Trebuchet, and that's just fine. Okay. Okay, so it's looking good. So I want to link this. Okay, meanwhile, let me add from this. Um, class is now. Oh, uh, we may eventually on the new student. Sorry. And then delete our student. <laughs> okay, so um, how about aligning the content? To the middle so for that I just say a horizontal alignment for this table is center I can tell okay I'm floating to the left so no problems let's just leave it so for now I create my links link home sorry home link so index at PHP list of students link to List of PHP. Add a new student link to so insert the PHP and delete a student link to so delete the PHP. Okay. So now I want to to create a style that applies to the bold face or the, the, the title of my page. So the title font size uh, I like to use uh, 18. Okay, let's use 18. Font color just color, not font color. I like to use um, something dark. Okay. And um, font family trebuchet as usual. Okay. I close. So right now I say welcome. Welcome to my site. How to create a portal in Dream Weaver by me. Okay, so the, the, this I have, I want to also align the center takes a line uh, center and that's just fine so if we go back here all of this I can just um, uh, use this title class and it beautifully aligns how about increasing the, the, the size to to 24 okay and then um, what else okay increasing the size to 24 okay uh, pretty uh, done in the first part and that is the design of the interface so I just want to use some other color okay okay Welcome to my site, how to create a, a portal in Green Weaver by me. Make this bold. I can make it bold in the, in the style sheet, the CSS style sheet. I can also do it here by just clicking bold. So how about previewing our site now? And we have this. Okay, it's not looking bad. So now um, 
like to give it a title of how how to create okay let me just say welcome to time zones tutorial and that's just fine so the first step is gone so now now i want to use this first page as my template so what it means is that i'll copy this page and use it to create all other pages how do i do that the first page i'm going to create is list so it's sim as simple as saving this page as list.php and that's all and there in this page now this is list of students okay list of students okay for the next one i just say save us insert the php okay so i just say insert a record insert students record and say yes as that record this is fine the save so the next I'm going to create is delete and the same way I just save us delete the PHP save and I say search record to delete so title is going to be delete so then record okay so now I'm almost done so the next step I'm going to Okay, one more page. That is a page that the user have to confirm the, the delete. When the user wants to, you want to delete their record, you have to confirm. You have to be asked, are you sure you want to delete? And then you have to, to confirm. So there, I'll just have to create a new page. I don't want to add the, the navigation on this page. So well, maybe we may just add it. So, so let's save us, save us, confirm the PHP, okay, so the question here is, are you sure you want to delete this record? Okay. <clears throat> So right now we are done with the first part of this tutorial. So I want to upload. Uh, yes, I'm putting the entire site and then I'm going to test this. So F12, the test. So here, list of students, as you can see, add new student, delete student. So we are moving on. So the first thing I'm going to uh, do is to work on the list.php to display the list of students on this page. So this is where our work starts. Now the list we are going to display is a list of students right there in MySQL database. We want to grab it and drop on this page. So the first thing we are going to do on the site is for us to connect to MySQL database. So what we do is to create the connection. For you to create the connection, the server behaviors window have to be open. For the databases window. So this is it. 
is, a, is actually a panel. So in databases, because we here we have databases, we have bindings, we have server behavior. So in databases, we say new MySQL connection, we give it a name, con portal, that is the name I want to give it. The SQL server, the MySQL server is the local host, standing for the, that is the, the current computer you are working on. And then the username that you, you use to configure the, the MySQL installation when you are installing it is what you use here. And the same password you used for this user. And then you either select or enter the database name. Sometimes clicking on select leads to some kind of error that by now I can't really figure out the, the cause of this error. That is uh, internal server error. So it's better you just enter the name of the database and say OK. So if everything goes well, you find out that the connection is successful and there you have the database sitting there. Let me close up this uh, CSS panel so that we have more room. So, window, I'm closing this. Okay, so. Okay, so. So, I want to display the list of students, and for me to do that, the next thing I'm going to do is to create a record site. And to create a record site, I'll go to Server Behavior, New Record Site. You always have to create a record site before you can display the list of data. So, I call, I call, I call it Rec Lists. Rec List. Connection is Comportal, the connection we created, the table is uh, the, the name of the table that you want to get the records from. Filter, we are not filtering anything for now. So we just say OK, and there we have our record set. So I save. So the next thing is to add the, the table, and the, it's called a dynamic table to this. OK. Um, just so align this to the top. So I insert now I'm, I want to add a dynamic table that grab the data in the record site. So what you do insert data objects, dynamic data, dynamic table, and there is the record site we created uh, just now. And we say okay. Okay. So we have this. Um, okay, I think everything is quite okay. I like to align it to the center, and then I like to set the width to be 900 px. And that's just fine. So the headers, I want to make them look like real headers. So Range number first name sorry uh, first name I just want to capitalize the first letter there so that it will look cool then email departments that is fine sorry Department. So I want to cite to bold. Let me see. Do I have any class? No. Okay. Maybe I'll just uh, set to bold. Let me not bother about creating a class. Let me just set to bold. Okay. So right now this is the list of students. So maybe we'll just test it to make sure that it displays the list of students here on the page. So F12 to test. 
And there we are fine, you can see lists of students. How about that? So these are the data right from the database is inserted here in our page. So we are done with that. So the next step now is to is to create the insert record uh, page. So let me just align this to the top. So there are a number of ways to do this, but the, we just use the easier, easier way to, to do it. So what we simply do is to use our first, uh, okay, you say insert, and then data object and insert record. You can use either of the two. So use insert record form wizard. We have Comportal, we have TBL Student. So it will actually uh, insert record into this table and the, the, the uh, form will have test field for all of this. So after inserting, we want to go back to the list. So I think this is uh, Things simple enough for us to understand and follow. So we say OK, and it's pretty done. Nothing much to do. So this is it in South Record. So we are going to save and then test the in South Record page. So F12. Okay. So. Let's say the E, uh, this year is 2014, 2014, the first name, uh, how about using uh, a French name, uh, and uh, other name is uh, I'm not sure what let me just use her department was a uh, pharmacy so say pharmacy okay so if everything goes well we hope to see the her record there in Saturday properly so we are sure that the insert record wizard worked and our insert page is in the back. So the next step now is for us to, to be able to, to delete a record. So I think that would be the, the, the task that is a bit uh, not as easy as the other ones we've worked on. But if you follow along, I'm sure you'll be able to get it correctly. So the first thing we want to do is we want to we want to display the a text field so that users can enter a, a a search criteria and be able to search. If they are, if they search out a record, then they're able to to delete. So the first thing we do, we want to add a test field, and this test field I want to call it txt. Rational. <clears throat> the label is enter, enter registration number for all parts of it. So for sure we might need to use a form tag. So it says position blah 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 blah. Okay. okay. Are they form tag? Sure, yes, we need a form tag. So we have this. So I add a submit button so that if you enter a such criteria you're able to, to, to submit and then it works. So this um, it doesn't have a label, I just call it B. BTN go 
and I want to call I want to name it go that is the, the caption of the value there is go okay. okay so now if the user enters this criteria a, a list of records matching the, the, the such criteria the user enter is displayed so uh, so I'll say uh, results such returns the following results so the next thing I'm going to do now is to create a record site of data of records that match this criteria. To get it correctly, I'm going to create a record site of all the records that match this criteria. And how do I do that? The same procedure, create a record. I call it rec, rec search. That's the name of the record site because each time you create a record site, you give it a name. So now pay attention to this side. We want to filter. We want to filter the registration number contains contains um form variable value and the form variable is txt criteria that is the name of the the, the search box where the user enters the, the registration number that is exactly what you will enter here range number contains form variable the name of the the, the test box that is the name of this test box if it's not form variable, it's not going to work. Here, you leave it as known for now. Um, and then, um, just to, to, to remind you that you can use any of these. But you either use equal to or, or contains. But if you use equal to, it means that if uh, the user types in part of the registration number, then they are not going to get it. So it's better to use contains so that if they type the complete registration number for the user or part of the registration number for the user, it searches out the, the record for that particular user. So, okay, that's just fine. That is a record site. Now I'm going to display this table of all these uh, uh, results or records here. So we repeat the process of adding a dynamic table. So data object, dynamic data, dynamic table, rec search. Okay. Okay. So there we have it. Maybe we'll just test it to see if it's working. Uh, F12, the preview on the browser. So for now, there's nothing there. So assuming I, I okay, let me just look at the list. Assuming I enter the, the same one we start. Okay, let's say I enter 9999 or something. So let's say DE999. The nine nine nine. Get to be a problem there. Okay, it's not such now. Why? Okay, you have txt original. Txt original. I say txt criteria, not txt original. Txt original. That is where the problem is coming from. Txt. So I can either change here or I can just change. Maybe I'll go for changing this to, to, to TXT original, to TXT criteria. TXT criteria. Okay, that's fine. 
So we go to, to do the test now. Yes, to all. So we enter the E the E nine nine nine. Okay, so you can see this right out is such so also the E two zero the two zero okay so such so the E two the E two okay the E two okay so I think we are we are okay let's say with the e13 and see if it's such a sound for these two records the e13 okay, two records the e13 okay so let's go ahead to do something else so now i'll add a column here as contains uh, a link the leads so each of the records is displayed with a link beside it that says delete. So if the user clicks the delete link beside or corresponding to the particular record, then the corresponding record it will be deleted. So how do we do that? You click on the last column and say table, insert rows or column. This time we want to insert a column after the current column, after the current column. And we say OK. And say delete this uh, this record. Delete. OK. Let's leave it at that. Delete. This record. OK. So. This table, I would just like to make it the same width as 900. Okay, so move um, this guy here. Okay. Okay, okay so um, okay, whatever. Uh, I would like to leave it as delete. Delete, okay. So now pay attention to this part because this is where the work comes. I'm linking it to confirm delete because if the user clicks on, on this delete uh, link, it displays the confirm delete. So I link to the confirm delete page and now as it links to the confirm delete page it has to pass the 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 student's ID that is the, the registration number to that confirm delete page and it passes it to that confirm delete page as a parameter or more specifically it passes it to the confirm page as a URL parameter. So it means that in specifying this uh, this this uh, uh, link or the reference, we need to attach the the, re the registration number along with the URL uh, query string. So how do we do that? We say question mark. The name of the parameter I'll call it rec ID equals equals for sure you just have to open and close PHP then echo now the the there is a, a function in, in PHP that you need to know that gets the the the, the data from the particular field in a database or in a record so that is that function is dollar dollar sign row underscore the name of the of the of the record site and in this case it's right such open 
base square brackets, then the name of the field, race no, and that's all. So you close the PHP tag. That's all. Basically, that's all. So sometimes it may be necessary. We also look at the, the the code view to make sure everything is okay. So here it tells you there is no error found. So I think we are good to go. Okay. So now if we we click on the delete uh, uh, link here, it takes us to the confirm page. And also passes the, the particular uh, um, registration number along with the, the query string. So let's just test it out. So F12 for preview on the browser. And then we have it. So C13. Now I want you to, to look at the, the, the stages bar each time. To move the, 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 the cursor to the to each of the delete. So here it tells rec ID, it tells us rec ID is equal to DE 1399. I'm sure you can see it there. Confirm the PHP here. Okay. If we move it downwards, it changes to the particular one. So now if we click, it takes us to confirm the link page, but nothing shows up here. So what? But if you also look at the, the URL query uh, string, you see rec ID is equal to. So this, uh, the table beautifully transfers the rec ID to this confirm page. And then we are going to work in this confirm page right now. Okay, so we align to the top. Okay, so. The, the the one thing we want to do one thing we want to do now is to display this record on this page and anytime you want to display a record you must create a record set so we want to display this record on the page so to display it we still go to create a record set and we want to call it rec delete the same connection the same table but now this is where we have to make some changes and this is filter arrange number should be equal to url parameter and the name of the url parameter is rec id you remember rec id that is the name of this url parameter it's rec id so Okay, so we've created this record site now, and I want to display this record site, but this time I need to add insert a table. I need to insert a table of uh, seven rows, two columns, so that I'll be able to display this. Sorry, uh, there's a problem somewhere. Problem somewhere. I don't know. I don't get it. So, let me undo. Okay. Insert a table of seven rows, two columns. Oh, cool. I think it's just there. So, I centralize it. Okay. So, say Registration number first name last name other name uh, email Department. This one we just uh, 
we'll put a swap mid boss in there. BTN submit. That's his name of the bot in there. BTN submit there. So um for sure we need a form tag. Um, sorry, everything has to be inside the form. I should have known this before. Everything has to be inside the form. So I, I have to paste the form and then move this table inside the form. Okay, good. So the submit button can now be in position. So, so now the record set we created, we have this record set we created, so we just manually drag the fields to the corresponding positions in our little table here. And we are good to go. So now uh, the, the record is displayed. The record that is passed from the, the, the records that um, correspond to the, the, the reach number passed from the, the search page or the delete page to the confirm page. So the record is beautifully displayed here on the screen. So how about testing our site now and um, I'm going to I'm going to to test it by moving to the delete page and then F12 for test um, okay so search nine okay so delete so you see that the record displays correctly we submit nothing happened because we've not defined a delete logic. Maybe I'll just add a, a border to this page, a border of one. Okay, and that's fine. So now the next step is to add a hidden record ID. This hidden record ID holds also holds a copy of the URL parameter that is passed, that is a copy of the registration number. That is passed onto this page. So to add a hidden record, I just drag a hidden field. It has to be inside the form. I call it hidden ID. So when you are deleting, we are deleting a record that this record passed on to this page. Okay, so it gets its value from the right number, so we click on this, it gets its value from the right number. Remember this record set, right delete is a, a record that is based on the, the registration number that is passed to this page too. So this hidden page is a is the the same as this ID that is passed to this page. So you just say you can just say a copy of this uh, URL parameter that is passed onto this page and we are good to go. So the final step in the in this portal we are building is to add the delete logic. So to do that, you go to server behavior, sorry, uh, to, to the same place, drop down, no, sorry, we have to be in server behavior, drop down and say delete record. That's the logic, delete record. So check if primary key, if a, if a variable is defined, primary key fine. Or have primary key column reg ID. Now, now pay attention because we don't have to use URL parameter here. We use the hidden ID, that is the, the, the registration number stored here, which is actually the same as that passed by the URL parameter, but for now, we use this one stored here. 
because by the time you refresh your page, the URL uh, parameter may have been lost. But the, the hidden records, the hidden uh, uh, field here, C holds its records as the page refreshes. So primary key value will be form variable and the name is hidden ID. And I'm sure you're following. So after deleting, we want to go back to the lists so that we are sure we have deleted this record. Okay, fine. So let's go ahead to test this site and see how it works. Well, if, we are, if everything goes well, we shall it works perfectly. So we go to delete a student, a social. I'm going to show this a student that contains this. So 09. Oh, okay, nine. Okay, we have all of this. So as you mean, I want to de delete this record. DE9999 -E delete. Submit, and you see it deleted. The E9999 is perfectly deleted. So now we can add a record. Let's say add a record DE e 201982 and that's a date and the value, but um, we add the name of uh. Sunder. That's an elder brother. The department, I think he studied uh, Greek. Uh, I remember. Oh, that are too long for email. I think that was a problem in our MySQL. In our MySQL. Um, insert and it's inserted. So let's check and see if this is inserted. So let's go ahead to delete a record, the same record. Uh, 1982 that the record is inserted. Let's delete it. Delete, yes, delete, it's deleted. So, uh, friends, this is how to build a portal. This is the basic principle behind creating a portal in any web application. This is the underlying principle, and I'm sure you follow it. If it's not very clear, try to 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 visit uh, to subscribe to my channel. I'll be updating with more videos maybe more detailed ones, more complex ones, more explanatory ones. But for now, I hope this video has been very informative for you and I would like to, I would like to thank you for viewing.